this video, I'm going to present the Amazon Workspaces package that can be found under the UiPath official feed. This package contains a set of activities that help you create and manage Amazon Workspaces. The scenario that I'm going to present is provisioning an Amazon Workspace for a user as part of the onboarding process. The first activity that we are going to use is the Amazon Workspaces scope that is the, uh, an activity that will let you connect to an Amazon instance and will provide a scope for the rest of the activity. There are two ways of connecting to the Amazon instance, one using access keys and the other one using IAM role. I have retrieved the access keys from the Amazon management console and inputted them as parameters for this activity. The next input I have set is the region. Please keep in mind that not all the regions are available for Amazon workspaces, so you will need to select the supported region. The next step is preparing a data table that we are going to use in order to create tags for our workspace. The data table has to have exactly two columns, both of type string. And we are going to create, in this case, two uh, tags, one created by that uh, ha will have the static value, the owner of um, the workspace while the other tag will be a dynamic one, the creation date, in which we set today's date. Then for actually creating the workspace, we are going to use the create workspace activity that has a set of parameters. There are the execution options where using the wait for completion flag, you can select if you want to wait for uh, the workspace provisioning to finish or not. In our case, I selected false because uh, the provisioning of the workspace can take more than 10-20 minutes. Next, you are going to select the bundle ID. To, in order to do this, you will need to go in the console and you are going to select the bundle that best meets your needs. There are more than 40 public bundles and you can also have custom ones. The next thing you want to select is the directory. So you have to go back in the console and select the directory in which the user for whom you want to provision the um, workspace is. And later you will need also to provide the username. In our, in our case, it's constant in demo. Then there are some additional properties. Uh, you can select the compute type from from the seven available values then you can select running mode always on or auto stop always you, you will select always on in case you want the workspace to act like a server and if you select auto stop the workspace will automatically stop after the user disconnects and you will be able to select the timeout uh, for this action meaning that after 60 minutes, the, the workspace will stop automatically. Uh, here you can input just multiple of 60. Then the next property is the tag. Um, here you will input the data table that you have created already. The last set of parameters is regarding storage. You can select the root volume size and the user volume size, both uh, in gigabytes. And on top of that, you can also encrypt them and uh, provide an encryption key. After running the workflow, a new workspace will appear in the workspaces list in status pending. And once this workspace will become available, an email will be sent to the user, uh, including connection details to the workspace and how to download and install the workspace client. Uh, moreover, the workspace details will be available here and as you can see also the tags that we have created uh, can be visualized uh, down here. Reboot! Whoa! 